as the Gaylord community and neighbors there really rally around those who impacted by Friday's deadly tornado. We are seeing more and more damage and more and more devastation. It, it is, is so sad. So widespread there. The images are shocking and just heartbreaking for those that had to live through this. Homes completely gone, cars tossed around and overturned, fields and fields of debris that will take a long time to come back from. Nick Monticelli has been in Gaylord for the last three days and I know you've been able to talk to a lot of people that live in this community that no longer have homes anymore. Right. In fact, we're standing in one of them right now. Come through the front door with me because I'm standing on the front door right now. This is Jerry's home again or what used to be his kitchen everything thrown up around the window blown out and believe it or not this of course isn't the worst of it but then i want you to step into the sunroom here where he would like to hang out where it's a good day he can enjoy the weather well the sunroom is destroyed and making things even worse the roof well it's gone on this area on the majority of his home and on homes all over this neighborhood this home still standing there's homes surrounding this area also blown to the ground there we go see it's coming from the east okay okay the, it's actually going that way oh my gosh This is the most intense video we have seen yet, showing just how powerful that EF3 was that ripped Gaylord apart. The camera is in the back window of Artist Huff's SUV. Her husband, Stephen, was on a fishing trip with barely any cell service. The only message he got was... Gaylord gone. Tornado. And that was it. That, and then I thought, I grabbed my stuff, told my two brothers, we got to go. And when he got home... This shed here is actually sitting right there. The damage is one thing. But watching this video, he realizes his wife and mother-in-law were feet from death. Uh, I thought it was, it was a great video, but it was scary, you know, because I knew that my mother-in-law and she was just next, what, like two feet, maybe three feet from the, from the tornado. Here's the camera in the windshield showing inside the garage. That door on the left is where Artis was holding on to her 94-year-old mother for dear life. And as I said, it only lasted like eight seconds, well, the actual. Then I heard the tree fall and I thought we were gone. Fortunately, their home is still standing. Many of the neighbors aren't so lucky. I, I still think that possibly it might have been because she had the windows and doors in the garage door open. That's the reason why my house is still here. And as the cleanup continues, so does the goodwill. Well, and we had been kind of like hermits uh, through the COVID and through the divisiveness. Mm -hmm. and, and so to have everybody show up at the door, these guys were in there helping me lift my mother back off the stairs. Now, that video was actually taken right behind me, one house next to me here at Jerry's place. And by the way, there's not a lot of places for these residents to go, so Jerry is still sleeping in the back bedroom with no electricity, no heat, no plumbing. It's been brutal. And to make matters worse, Everard and Rhonda, his son is in critical condition awaiting back surgery, as is his daughter-in-law. He was smashed with a washing machine that came flying through their home. They live at the mobile home park. They were buried under rubble. Neighbors had to literally pull the roof apart just to get to them and save them to get them to the hospital. We're live in Gaylord, Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News today. Oh my gosh, thanks for the perspective, Nick, and your heart just goes out to all of these families that he still has to live there in that home with it so destroyed like that. And then all the people that are injured, we are certainly praying for everyone there in Gaylord. Stay with us here on Local 4 and click on Detroit.com as the cleanup and rebuild continues in this community. Right now online, you can watch, uh, we have a 16 minute drone uh, this is a drone for tour of the damage caused by that EF3 tornado on Friday. The link is right there on the homepage. Unbelievable. Ugh.